I'm Mike Sullivan, and today we have a chipping tip to help you take some strokes off your score. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Okay, here's a little chipping tip that came up today in one of our chipping classes, our short game class, and I thought it'd be valuable enough to, to share with you. So let's let's take a look at what we're talking about. Um, what's the biggest problem that people have chipping? It's, it's either sculling their chips or it's chunking their chips, right? So when we scull a chip or we chunk a chip, it is usually because the club head is passing our hands. So if we can get a little zoom up here on this ball, can we zoom up a little bit on that ball there? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So when we hit a bad chip, it's kind of like this happens, right? Where my club had passed my hands. That could be a sculled chip. Uh, also, the, the wonderful chili dip type shot. You know, that, that sort of a thing. All right. So what happens is in order to rectify that, we tend to start moving the ball back in our stance. And, and having the ball back in your stance a little bit is just fine. But what happens is we start to see people with the ball way, way back, like on their back toe. And then we see them get their hands way, way forward, hitting these little chip shots. And here's what the thing is. As I'm setting up to do this, there's really no way at impact that I can get my hands any more forward. You know, I can't use the natural motion of creating a little bit of, a, of lag in my, in my stroke. I don't have that if I set up like this. So if I'm going to hit a chip shot from here, it tends to be more of a drag type of a shot. And actually on that particular shot, I made contact back behind the ball. So let's talk about what we can do about this. This is really simple. So instead of playing the ball so far back, you can still play it back a little bit. But what we want is we want to start with our shaft, say, in, in this position, which is leaning forward a little bit, but not a ton. But at impact, we want to get a little more weight forward and the hands even a little bit farther forward than that. So it's going to look kind of like this. So the ball's about middle of stance, maybe teeny bit back. I'm going to cheat a little on my front side. Hands are relaxed, right? And I'm going to just, in my, after my back, so I'm going to relax my hands so I can get a little bit of that lag coming through. See how my hands are more forward? So it's gonna look a little bit more like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit to that, um, that farthest target there, okay? All right, not too bad. So that was a pretty good impact, I felt. I actually didn't quite catch it perfect, but it's pretty good. So I'm gonna to try to concentrate a little bit more on hitting my target and less on explaining it. That looks better. Okay, a little bit to the right though. Much better distance. That was actually a much more solid strike. So in order to help your chipping, yes, we do want to hit the ball before the ground, pretty much most of the time, uh, but we don't need to get extreme like this. This is not a natural motion. You're not going to be a consistent chipper from there. Move the ball more in the middle of your stance or slightly back, relax your grip to create some lag, and then go ahead and make that chip shot look that's even better. Get up there, will you? All right. I hope that helps. Work a lot in your short game. It really does pay off. Make sure that every time you get a chance to, you're working the short game as well as your long game. Remember, more of the strokes that you take on the golf course are going to be inside of 100 yards.